A massive sell-off drove the Dow to shed more than 1,000 points at the day's low. A bounce back by Apple helped cut the losses, but it still closed with the steepest drop in four years. Sparking the plunge, a further fall in Chinese equities and commodity prices. Manhattan Venture Partners, Max Wolf. I think the sort of bloom has come off the rose on this long uprun, which we knew was going to come, but it came fast and furious, which always is a little bit of a severity makes it feel worse story. The pullback in oil prices slammed energy stocks like ExxonMobil, Chevron and Cabot Oil. Traders now see less of a chance that the Fed will raise interest rates in September, so investors unloaded financial stocks like J.P. Morgan Chase and Morgan Stanley. That view also pushed the dollar down and Treasury yields below 2 percent. Chinese shares trading in the U.S. also got hit. Alibaba's shares fell below its IPO price. That yanked down Yahoo as well, which has a stake in Alibaba. Netflix said it's partnering with SoftBank to launch its video streaming service in Japan next month, but its shares couldn't avoid the sell-off. In Europe, stocks posted an even steeper drop than in the U.S., with oil and gas shares taking the biggest hit. 